best part about uh, this time in Lent yeah. is that there's these solemnities in the middle of the week that kind of break up the... Uh, well, we had St. Joseph. We had Saint, which, yeah, we had St. Joseph last week. And then before that, we had St. Patrick's Day, well, which, which is observed with such fervor by certain <laughs> certain Catholics. So you go to New York City on St. Patrick's Day, well, any other St. Patrick's Day, it's crazy. But, uh, but the, the, what's, what's special about, uh, about today? Well, today's the Annunciation. So when the angel Gabriel announces to Mary the great plan of salvation in Jesus becoming incarnate uh, in her womb. And so and, it's a big day of... But it's more than just uh, a day of the announcement, but it's also the day of Mary's, you know, great fiat, her great act of cooperation with God's grace. Does that mean that today, March 25th, is nine months from Christmas? It's nine months from Christmas, right? We have right nine on. months until Christmas. We have nine months in hope, oh dear. I didn't know you were the kind of guy that counted down for Christmas. No, I'm just, I'm a married man, so I'm really good at counting to nine. I've got, uh, <laughs> I had to do it twice, um, so far. Well, okay. So what, uh, we're going to have mass, obviously. Live yeah. Stream. Yeah. Today's a, it's a solemnity. See all of you there. 515 live stream today. But, uh, what else can we do to celebrate, uh, the assumption? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's August 15th. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What else do you think we can do to celebrate the Annunciation? You know, it's a great day to meditate upon right, this whole drama between Mary and the angel. And it's not mm -hmm. just like the snap of the fingers. It's not like the angel shows up mm -hmm. and it's just like, you know, this uh, automatic thing that just happens. This is something you have to do and now it's done. It's, it's, it's different from that. Yeah, it's this drama between the angel and Mary, between... God's plan and her own heart and her mm -hmm. own, you know, and, and what she's uh, experiencing. and But yet at the end, it's this, you know, beautiful moment of, of cooperation of, mm -hmm. of Mary with, you know, with the divine plan, with mm -hmm. the desire of, of the Trinity to become mm -hmm. incarnate mm -hmm. in the word made flesh. Mm -hmm. And so it's this great day, I think, to meditate on the incarnation about, uh, you know, God present to us and the tangible realities of our life. Mm -hmm. uh, the concreteness of grace. Mm -hmm. I think religion always has this tendency to become very uh, otherworldly sure. or sort of like very abstract mm -hmm. and general. Especially now that we don't really have the immediacy of some of the more concrete things of the faith, the regular practices yeah. of the sacraments and whatnot. We kind of, it's a, the time to really build that up intentionally because we, we can't sort of take it for granted. Yeah, and it's not just a matter of it's I mean, part of our challenge mm -hmm. in our unique circumstance now but i think it's just a general challenge in culture sure and in, in world history there's always you know the incarnation is always a scandal mm -hmm. to the human mind what do you mean by that that uh, we expect and assume that the spiritual realm is somehow other than the material mm -hmm. that it's in some far off distant place it's somewhere mm -hmm. else mm -hmm. it's in heaven it's opposed to to matter in our ordinary life mm. and so it's easy to start to like over uh spiritualize uh sure. our spiritual life sure you know and sort of imagine mm -hmm. that grace is some ethereal thing off in a distant place mm -hmm. um you know but there's something about the enunciation which helps us see that god's grace works mm -hmm. in these detailed particular and concrete ways in our life and sometimes very ordinary ways so what's a, a detailed and concrete particular thing we could do to, to memorialize or celebrate that? You know, I think a great practice is the Angelus. You know? What is the Angelus? I've heard people say the Angelus. You and I went to St. Thomas and the bell is always rung at noon yeah. for the Angelus. Never knew what right. to do. What do you do for the Angelus? What is that? Well, the Angelus is a great prayer. It's very short, very simple, mm -hmm. but it's calling to mind the key aspects of this encounter between the angel Gabriel and the heart of Mary okay. and the Annunciation. Mm -hmm. So it starts off, you know, just by recounting the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary mm -hmm. and then the, the response is, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Then there's a, a Hail Mary. So that's these three little uh, dialogues, these three mm -hmm. little antiphons. 
So if I wanted to pray it, I would start by ha- by praying it with somebody else, or can I pray it by no, myself? You can pray it by yourself. So say the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. And we say a Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full mm-hmm. of grace, the Lord is with you. And then yeah. what comes after that? Uh, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done unto me according to thy word. That's another call and response. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Yep. Let it be done to Let me. me according to thy word. Hail Mary, Mary full, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And then what's the third? And the word was made flesh. And the word and dwelt among us? And dwelt among us. Okay, you're okay, I'm getting the hang yeah. of it. Okay. <laughs> that's good, that's good. And yeah. then you'd say Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And uh <clears throat> and then you're done? No, and then at the end, uh there's this closing prayer that mm-hmm. is done. It's the same prayer as the opening prayer, the collect mm-hmm. f- from the Roman Missal. Okay. Uh, pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, mm-hmm. that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son. Is it the made... same, same prayer every day? Yeah, same prayer. Yep. Okay. And, uh, you know, and so it's just this simple three-part prayer, and it kind of like outlines these three major movements of the encounter of Gabriel with Mary. You have God's invitation, mm-hmm. right? the response of the human heart sure. in Mary, and then the fruit of that, mm-hmm. and this sort of, and the Word was made flesh, that God's grace and mm-hmm. God's presence is now a concrete reality mm-hmm. in time and space. How do we just pray the Angelus on the day of the Annunciation, or do we pray it when? We could pray it every day. Every day? Yeah. Would you like people to do that? I think that'd be something great that we could uh, do in these days. I mean, sometimes you could pray it once a day. Mm-hmm. You know, there's It'll a be at noon, right? Yeah, and there's a traditional thing of doing it three times a day. Okay. In the morning, at noon, and in the evening. You know, mm-hmm. the kind of three big movements of the day. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we'll put up a little prayer card. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, on our website. Link, link in the description. Below. <laughs> just, just go down yeah, there. Yeah, check and that, that out. Right now. Um, click, click. Yeah, we can make that happen. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. And uh, and it's just a you know it's very simple. Mm-hmm. It doesn't take a lot of time. Yeah. But I think it has great spiritual effects in our heart. Like, it really helps us to kind of enter into this dynamic that God is active. He's initiating so many things in our life to be present to us. Mm-hmm. We're able to respond, mm-hmm. you know, and it's just this kind of, right, this all day there's this, uh, right, God is, is bestowing so many gifts, so many invitations, mm. and then we can respond in concrete ways. There we go. This has been Coffee with Father. We'll see you for the next episode. Don't know how many more of these we're going to be doing, but we hope you're all doing well. First week of classes, halfway done. Online classes, halfway done. And uh, I'll let you sign us out. All right. Blessings on this great feast day, the solemnity of the Annunciation.